So it's an interesting title, Why We Treat Our Relationships Like a Car. Well, you know what it's like when you get a new car. It may not be brand new, but it'll be new to you. What do you do? You take good care of it. You've saved up the money or you're paying it off and you are really treating it with a great deal of respect. You won't let anybody wear their dirty shoes in the car. You cover the seat covers in cloths and blankets if you've got an animal and you really do take good care of it. You have it cleaned, you make sure it's cleaned, um, you certainly have it serviced and if the kids were to throw a crisp packet on the floor you probably blow a gasket or anybody else if they just threw the rubbish around. Your car is going to be treated with the greatest of care, understandably. And it's the same with a relationship. You meet someone new and you treat them with the greatest respect. You nurture that relationship. You treat your partner with respect. You talk to them, yeah, in the way that, yeah, a respectful way, in a kind way, in a caring way, because this is really precious. But just like that car, once you get used to it, well, the crisp packets get thrown on the floor, the muddy feet, mm, you don't clean it as often. And it's the same with that relationship, isn't it? You don't bother to treat your partner in the same way as you did when you first met them. Because they're there, aren't they? You start taking them for granted. Instead of taking care how you speak to them, maybe you don't t speak to them as in the nicest possible way as you did. You snap at them or, oh, find your socks. Why, I can't be bothered to do that. Sort it out yourself. Does this sound a bit familiar? That's what happens, isn't it? We just stop paying attention. We stop giving it that special care and attention. And then, like the car, it looks a bit tacky and a bit worn and not taken care of. And maybe you don't bother when you get a dent or a knock or perhaps you just don't clean it as much and it starts looking tacky and careworn. And if you don't pay attention to it and get it serviced regularly, then the chances are it's going to let you down. It won't be serviceable anymore and it probably will just you kind of just drive it into the ground because you can't be bothered to take care of it. Well, isn't that the same with a relationship if you don't take good care of it? and of your partner. Pay them a little bit of attention. Make sure that you're not treating it like that car that you can't be bothered to uh, do anything with anymore. You don't want your relationship going on a scrap heap, <laughs> do you? And whilst you could you theoretically part exchange your partner, trade them in like you could a car. It's going to be a lot more costly both financially and definitely emotionally. Anyway, that's my little chat for this evening. So lovely to talk to you all. I hope you're all well and enjoying this lovely weather. Uh, we had some snow yesterday, just a little, didn't settle. And it's been much brighter today and warmer. And I saw, while I was out on my walk today, I saw a beautiful clump of snowdrops, which I have posted on social media if you've seen them. Always brings a smile to my face. I just love it um, when I see those flowers in the middle of winter. And I even saw a few daffodils, and that brings me the smile to my face. 
and I just absolutely love catkins. They always remind me, since I was a small child, of um, lamb's tails. My mother used to call them lamb's tails. It's like those tails before they before they take their tails off and they little wobbly tails if you ever see with little lambs. Oh, and it always reminds me of that and it always brings a smile to my face. So have a lovely evening. Um, I hope you're all well and keeping warm wherever you are. So lots of love now and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye now.